Good evening, everybody. How are you? Okay, guys, we are just waiting for your classmates to join the class so we can start, all right? Good evening, Reina. Great, more people joining the class. All right, so I can see now Edwin joining the class here. Okay, Evelyn, thank you for confirming. Good evening. I can see also Ursula joining the class. Thank you very much. Okay. Great, excellent. So we are going to start right now with the class, my friends. All right, so thank you very much for joining the class on time. I truly appreciate it. So good evening to everybody who is joining the class at the moment. All right, so we are going to start right now with our uh, first activity here. You know, as every single uh, night, right, I like to start the class 
uh, practicing a tongue twister because this is going to help you to develop your pronunciation in to make sure that you pronounce the final sounds correctly, right? So let me just start pronouncing the words right here, right? So we have whether the weather it's fine or whether the weather it's not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, will the weather, the weather, whether we like it or not, right? So those two words right here have a very similar pronunciation, okay? So you pronounce it like weather, 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 all right? So I have a question for you, everybody. What's the difference between this weather and this weather? Mm -hmm. Yes. Enjoy your meal, Miguel. Uh -huh. Ursula, good evening. Noé, good evening. All right. Good evening. Edith, good evening. All right. Good evening. So, uh, what's the difference between weather and weather? Do you know it? Yes or no? No problem. I will help you with that right now. All right. So, weather, it's the same as ya sea. All right, like that one, weather. And then we have weather, which is clima. All right, so, and that's what we have right there. So whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, will the weather, the weather, whether we like it or not, All right? So let's see here. All right, so I'm just going to give you two minutes so you can practice there, so pronouncing, right? And then I'm going to ask for some volunteers who can help me repeating this tongue twister, right? So please go ahead and practice right now. So I will give you two minutes. Remember whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, will weather the weather, whether we like it or not like that easy that's easy for tonight easy 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay let me repeat it one more time no problem so whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, we'll know whether the weather, whether we like it or not, all right? So that's how you pronounce it. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Daniel, who just listened here tonight, all right? But thank you for joining the class. Mm -hmm. Guillermo, good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. All right, excellent, excellent. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Mm -hmm. One more minute to practice. All right, all right. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So we are going to um start right now practicing the tongue twister. So let's see. Let's see who it's not a listener. So I have a Carlos, Edwin, uh, Guillermo, Miguel, all right, Noé, and Ursula. All right, so guys, who it's going to um, help me first? Go ahead, please. Thank you, Miguel. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, we will whether the weather, whether we like it or not. Thank you very much, right? That was actually a super nice job. And thank you very much as well for being the first volunteer. Just one observation, right? Remember, this is no cool, this is cold. Repeat it. Cold. Excellent. Thank you very much, right? You did it wonderfully. All right. Thank you, Miguel. Now, next see, next volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Noe. Please continue. Okay. Whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold uh, or whether the weather is hot, will whether the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So that was actually super nice and well pronounced, by the way. All right. Thank you. Who's next? I got two. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ursula, thank you. Go ahead. Whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, will whether the weather whether we like it or not. Excellent. Good job, Ursula. Super good as usual, right? So thank you. All right. Let's see. I need two volunteers more. Who's my next volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Go ahead. Whether the weather is fine or whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, well, whether the weather, whether we like it or not. Thank you very much. All right. Super good job as well and well pronounced, by the way. All right. So uh, thank you. Who's the last volunteer for this activity? Please tell me who's going to be the last one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Edwin. Please continue. Whether the weather is fine, whether the weather is not, whether the weather is cold, or whether the weather is not, well, whether the weather, whether we like it or not. All right, whether the weather, weather. All right, so very good. Thank you very much. Good job. All right, so now we are going to continue with the next activity. Thank you to everybody who helped me in participating in the first activity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's just continue right now here. Okay, so we are going to have a review, a review, a review, a review, all right? And how are we going to do it? Well, we are going to have a short quiz, all right? So just to remember some uh, concepts that we were studying last night, right? So some, you know, definitions and some vocabulary that we were checking last night, right? Don't worry, it's going to be very simple. It's a very short quiz and, you know, it has the answers there. So you just have to select the correct option, of course. All right. So I'm going to share the link right now uh, in the, um, here in the chat. You can just click on it or you can actually join through the WhatsApp group. One second. Okay. Okay. So I just sent it here in the chat on soon right i'm just waiting for what's up right here one quick second let's see here thank you i can see gustavo already joined remember that if you join the test quickly you get 600 points all right Let's see. I can see only Gustavo. Where it's the rest? Waiting for the link on WhatsApp. All right. There you go. There you go. This is the one. Okay. The link is also in the, on the WhatsApp group, my friends. Well. It hasn't been sent yet, but it should right now. Yes, it's there. All right. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for you to join. Let's see how many people have joined the group. All right.
Okay, great. So the first one, first one was Gustavo. So he was the one getting the 600 points. Then I have Buria, Ursula, Catherine, which they got like the four, 400 points. Okay, great. Okay, we are about to start. I only have five people. What about the rest? I have like a lot of people here in the class and I only see here five people. Uh -huh. Which I'm assuming, for example, where is Edwin? Where is, let's see, Evelyn, Guillermo, Henry, Catherine, Miguel's not here. All right. Thank you. Okay, okay. So we are just waiting for everybody else to join this. Okay, excellent. So we are going to start with only those five people. Maybe the rest can join the quiz later, right? Mm -hmm. You can start now. Okay, so continue, continue with the test. You're welcome, Mr. Custodio. I can see two people more here. Great, great, great. So I can see Ursula, it's at the top. Very good. Excellent. Oh, I can see more participants now. Very good. Or Ursula already finished. That was easy for her, huh? Okay, very good. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Oops, uh huh. Super good, super good. There we go. 
So there you go. Very good. So we're just waiting for the results right there. Thank you guys for participating actively on this one. And we will see here who's the first place. Right now, let's see. Okay, great, excellent. So I have uh, Ursula, first place, good job. Miguel Santos, also good job on this one. Everything correct, but Ursula got more points because she did it faster. Maritza, also excellent, everything correct. So that was actually a good job as well. Mr. Pardo, I can see here that you were participating as well. So thank you. Nuria, very good. Mm, one correct one. Well, let's see. Uh, Guillermo, also good job. Right, so very, very, very good job on this one, all right? So we are going to like uh, finish the test right here. So thank you guys. Test is over, right? So you got there, that one. All right, thank you. Congratulations to everybody who participated here, right? So let's see. Ursula, Miguel Santos, and Maritza. Good job, guys. Congratulations. And thank you for applying those. Um, exactly. Very good. Those words right there in a the correct way. All right. Thank you for applying your knowledge correctly. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now, let's just continue here with that presentation. All right. Thank you. That was from the last activity we actually were working on last night. All right. So let's see, after the review, so let's see what's next for today. So then we have a question, people, right here. Take a look. This is a question. The question says, how to identify skill training and development opportunities for employees in an organization? All right, so, well, I need a volunteer who can help me to read this question again. One more time, just reading, right? Go ahead. Hmm? Who's my volunteer? I'm sorry. Just for reading the question. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead. In English. Yeah, right. reading, reading, reading. Yes, yeah. reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, how to ident uh, identify a a skill training and development opportunities for employees in an organization? Thank you very much. Excellent. All right, so then... This is the question that we're going to answer uh, tonight, but to answer the question, we need to um, learn a little bit more about this one. So skill training, skill training, skill training. What do you understand um, for skill training? What do you understand as a skill training? Mm -hmm. Whatever idea you can say, all right? So what do you understand? Es como quizás un grupo de un grupo de entrenamiento. Okay, un grupo de entrenamiento. Yeah. Okay, that's an idea. Thank you. Any other idea? Uh -huh. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Habilidades de entrenamiento, no sé. Habilidades de entrenamiento. Okay, excellent. One more idea, please. Okay, okay, great. Oh, en equipo. Trabajo en equipo. Okay, thank you. So I got three different ideas. All right, so very good job. And uh, we are going to now see what happens right here, which is the following. How to identify skill training. It's just um, a training that you're going to receive in an, a specific area. All right, so for example, let's say 
Um, I just can imagine someone who is working in the uh, administration area, but they need training. You know, perhaps this person has been working only with the payroll, right? Making the payments, etc., right? But now the boss needs that person to know about something else. And then that's going to send the person to a training, for example, for about taxes. All right. So what we know here in El Salvador as la renta o el IVA. So this is like special training that like specific training that someone needs to get an additional skill. Right. Or, if, for example, if you work in a restaurant and you have been only working as a server, you are going to have a training for you to be in charge of a different activity in the restaurant, how to deal with customers, how to welcome customers if you want to become a, a host, right? Or, um, for example, if you are a chef in the restaurant, so you can have a skill training to learn how to prepare new dishes, right? Or how to uh, improve the kitchen management, just to say something. So basically, that is a skill training, right? And a specific training on a specific area, all right? Um, or sometimes we, um, we might be failing in some areas, right? So for example, imagine, uh, imagine the case of a server or a waiter or a waitress, right? Who is rude with customers. What is rude? Unpolite. On polite, exactly, grosero, right? Let's see, grosero, all right, like that. So that person needs a training, right, on how to talk to people, how to deal with people, a training in customer service, so they can develop that opportunity, that area of opportunity, and make it something positive for the employee, and of course, for the company as well. Now, let's see what's next right here. Okay, so in how do you identify employee training needs in an organization, right? How do you identify that? Like, ¿cómo se identifican esas necesidades de entrenamiento, right? Because it's not just because, oh, okay, we need training, so everybody will go to training tomorrow. No, there is a specific reason why the organization is going to send a person or a group of people to a training right? Because they need to get something different, okay? Uh, and those are six reasons why um, a company or an organization can uh, decide to start a training, all right? So then who can help me to, I need two volunteers. The first volunteers for the first three options right here and the second one for the last three. Who's my first volunteer? Let me see. Yes. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. Explore the overall performance. Yes. Compare yourself, yourself to similar organizations. Perform mm -hmm. individual assessments. 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 Correct. All right, excellent. Thank you, Nuria. Who's my next volunteer? Thank you, Ursula. Go ahead. Consider your industry, your current training program for various roles, train for standard job requirements. All right, requirements. Thank you very much. All right, so those are six reasons why um, they might need training. So now let's start to, like, you know, explain a little bit all of them, right? So it says explore overall performance what is overall performance my friends i had that question for you what is overall performance mm -hmm. yes what is overall performance Como rendimiento general. exactly all right so like explorar el rendimiento o el desempeño general in general right so that the employee has had right if the person is only failing in one area or if if um the person is failing like in general in many areas right so well thank you so now what's next right here number two which is going to be this one uh, 
compare, which it says here, compare yourself to similar organizations, okay? If I have a company, just to give an example, if I have a restaurant, I'm going to compare my restaurants, um, you know, to other restaurants so I can see uh, the activities that they are doing to see if I can imitate something positive. So in order for me to improve the quality of my products or my service, right? Or to see if I'm not being exaggerated, like, you know, controlling everything, et cetera, right? So sometimes comparing your company to others might give you an idea or at least to have a reference, you know, to see if the things are doing good or not, okay? So um, then we have number three, perform individual assessments. Repeat it, my friends, go perform individual assessment. Let me hear you. Perform individual, perform individual assessment. assessment. Thank you very much. All right, so yeah. like that one. And now, what is perform individual assessments? Yes. Yes. Hmm? Exactly. All right. So perform individual assessments is realizar eh, evaluaciones de manera individual, right? So I cannot say that, for example, the whole department or the whole area, it's the problem. I will have to perform individual evaluations or individual assessments to find out or to determine who it's not working as it should be, right? So perhaps, you know, one person, it's making the whole department look bad. Uh, so then I need to investigate who is that person and then I can provide training to that person in order for that person to improve, right? Remember, what is improve? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mejorar. Mejorar, exactly. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Let's go with number four right now, right? So number four says here, um, consider your industry, all right? This is important right here, you know, because sometimes, um, you know, there are companies that they use different organizations to um to keep some plans or to, to to develop sorry some plans and they don't match because like you know the industries might be different so let's say for example if you're talking about a factory i cannot compare a factory to a restaurant because there are completely different um industries right so we have like the food industry or the food service industry uh, and the other one is actually a factory, so it's not going to be the same. So I need to like try to understand how my industry or the industry where I'm working works, right? Uh, and then take actions based on that one, right? So this means, right, uh, to take into consideration the industry you're working for. Thank you. Then you go with number five. Number five says different training programs for various roles right so as i was telling you before depending on the position uh, or depending on the job so you are going to be developing different training programs for the different positions or roles you have in the company all right so it cannot be only one training unless the topic it's for every employee right so for example podemos tener un training acerca de la empresa, like, like the, the, the company's uh, story, that's going to be like something that everybody needs to take. But if you're talking about like something specific, no le voy a dar un training de contabilidad uh, al mesero o un training de cocina al contador, right? So for example, because it's depending on the area, of course. All right, so then you go for the last one. Who can help me to read the last one again, please? I need a volunteer for helping me reading the number six. Go ahead. Yes. Requirements. Thank you very much for trying. Requirements. All right. So in uh, 
this one train for standard job requirement it's just like you know when we're talking about trainings vamos a dar un entrenamiento we have to um determine if this is appropriate for like the current needs right so just to say something for example no vamos a dar un entrenamiento usando un programa que se hizo hace 20 years ago like say 20 años all right so uh, when perhaps we have more programs or you know better options for developing the training right so that's what says standard job requirements so algo que sea la vanguardia all right like on the other jobs that we're currently having all right so hey do you have questions about this topic vocabulary or anything that it was not clear regarding the idea hello hello teacher tell me uh, what is re re requirements requirement means requisitos my friend okay okay thank you okay excellent thank you all right so let's see what's next any other question vocabulary pronunciation Yeah. No, no, no questions. Okay, no problem. Oh, do you have questions? No. Okay. Thank you very much in this one. So let's just continue right now. Let me clean this screen here so we can move forward. All right. So now let's see. Now I have here how will you manage the training development of the employee? Right, so como se maneja, right? That's what it says. How would you manage the training and development of the employees you have right here? All right, so and then uh, you go on this one. So, for example, the first one, well, again, I will need two volunteers more who can help me reading. So, one volunteer for this section and one volunteer for this section right here. All right, please, volunteers, who are my volunteers? Hello, hello. Hello. Thank you, Chen. Thank you, Ursula, for helping me. And then Nuria again, girls. Thank you. All right, go ahead, Ursula. You start. Recognize your company goals, identify competencies. Do a lab panel, interview employees. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ursula. Now go, Doria, please. Okay. Offer formal training. Select the right training tools. Bring in a coach or a mentor. Allow self-direct learning. Self-directed learning. Mm -hmm. Hello, self-direct learning. Thank you very much. Now let me go over all of them so we can, um, you know, participate on this one later. All right. So it says recognize your company goals. I need to be aware of what the company goal is so I can provide a training that is going to help me to reach that goal. Right. Um, I'm not going to start a training just because I want the people to say, oh, in this company, they have trainings. No. I need to start a training based on what the company goal is, right? So the second one says identify competences, which means like I need to like be aware or I need to be uh, sure of what are the good things that my employees have, for example, right? So um, I need to like identify the people with potential, right? in special abilities so that can be used and take into consideration for uh, applying the training or perhaps excluding those people from the training because they already have the knowledge, right? Then we have the next one, which is number three, do a gap. How do you pronounce this word? Let's see if you remember. Analysis or analysis or what is it? Mm -hmm. How do you analysis. pronounce this word? Analysis. 
analysis. There you go. Exactly, right? So do a gap analysis. What is a gap? Mm -hmm. What is a gap? Yep. Hello, hello, my friends. What is a gap? Como brecha, sí. Una brecha, exactly, right? Something that is missing, let's say, all right? So do a gap analysis, which means try to analyze and try to identify what is missing, all right? So just to give examples, let's talk about restaurants again, all right? So um, if I have a host right now, so it's my host saying good morning, good afternoon. It's the ghost, it's the, sorry, host um, welcoming the people. Is the house smiling? Uh, what about the dressing? All right, et cetera, right? So all those things to see what is missing there. So the food, for example, if it is a fast food restaurant, is the food served in a proper time? Are the customers waiting for a, you know, a long time or not? etc right so i can see what is missing so i can work on getting that done right then interview pa employees which is like obviously to know exactly what i need to do i need to talk to the employees right because the employees are going to tell me exactly what they need or what they don't have right or what are they comfortable with right let me ask you this, and let me make a pause right here to ask you these questions. In your companies, do your companies do this type of situations when they prepare training or they never prepare trainings in your companies? Hello? Hello, hello? Sure. Could you repeat the question, please? Of course. In your companies, do, do the company provide training or how do they uh, prepare the training? They Do they ask you anything or they just say, this is the training that we are going to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. In my, my company? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they prepare the training mm -hmm. and um, depend of the department mm -hmm. they uh, uh, first of all uh, ask uh, to the manager um, if, if he have employees with uh, need uh, that need uh, training and then the the human human resource ask everything everyone or uh, if they need a uh, some kind of training for example i ask for training on uh, excel and then i i have to i want to to have a training uh of power bi all right, excellent. All right. Thank you very much for uh, sharing the experience, all right? So then we guys will understand why, I mean, how the company works, all right? So there is a process, as you were saying, right? And it's good because, like, sometimes not all, when it says interview employees, not all the companies do that. They just decide to start a training based on that one, all right? So now, let's see this one right here. Uh, the next one. It's going to be offer formal training. This one, it has to be, and when it says formal training, we have to pay attention to this one. It says not any kind of training. It says formal training because we're talking about specific procedures that we need to follow to improve an area, right? And then it says here, select the right training tools, right? So uh, after the pandemic, you know, everything when a uh, virtual right so like for example the class we are having here right so the class we are having here which is um you know 
virtual a virtual class, of course. And sometimes we go and say like, um, you know, for the trainings, do they have to be within your shift? After your shift? Before your shift? Are you going to be paid uh, extra hours, you know, OT? Or are you going to do it online in your time, et cetera, right? So I guess we have to take into consideration many things here, all right? So, well, let's see. The next one, it says here, bring in a coach or a mentor. Sometimes the companies do not have the skilled employees to perform a training. And it is necessary to bring someone from outside who can actually perform this training. So sometimes when we try to motivate employees, right? So we bring a motivational coach so they can perform those exercises and activities that are going to make us feel, you know, uh, motivated, right? And to love our job again. And the last one, a low self-directed learning, right? So, well, you don't have to um, wait for the company to develop a training. You can also start learning by yourself. All right. That's actually what this is saying right here. Then, do you have questions? Questions, no questions? Not here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I hope everybody is paying attention because later we have some questions here. All right. Then eh, let's continue here. Now, we have to answer this last question. Why is it important to identify training needs? Uh, well, I'm going to read it for you and then I need a volunteer who can help me to repeat this paragraph to check the pronunciation. All right, it says a training needs assessment evaluates the precise information and abilities that employees require to be more productive efficient and inventive at work. Employees also contribute to the company's strategic goals by performing better in their employment, all right? Great, excellent, super easy, right? So now I would like to listen to one of you who is going to be my volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Wait, one second, uh, Ursula. All right, so let's just continue again and set this one. Now, Ursula, I truly appreciate that you always help me, but let's give the opportunity to somebody else who can help me reading this time, all right? So let's see, who's the next one, volunteer? Oh it's my God. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Go ahead. Who was that one? Henry. A training need a segment evaluate the precise, precise. information and precise. precise information and ability that employees require to be more productive, efficient, and inventive at work. Employees also con contribute to the company's strategic goals by performing better in their employment. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for helping me with that one. Right. So let me now explain it to you here. It is says uh, uh, a training its assessment evaluates. Dijimos que era el assessment evaluates. Evaluaciones. Mm -hmm. Evaluan pre información precisa, precise information, and of course the abilities que los employees require to be more productive. All right. So then, um, efficient and inventive at work. It says employees can also contribute to the company's strategic goals by performing better. Right. So desempeñándose mejor en sus empleos. All right. That's basically what it says right here. Thank you. Do you have any questions about vocabulary here or pronunciation? No, no, <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Yes, at least I know, right? All right. So let's see. 
Now, let's see now with the activity that we are going to have here, which is this one. Okay, so here we have five questions, five uh, questions that we are going to answer. So now we are going to, um, maybe someone can help me with the screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group so you can keep it there. I truly appreciate it. And uh, those five questions are based on the information that we were reading. Remember that in the previous slides, I was providing the information with my explanation, right? So in the, in the presentation, you have certain points, but I hope you have pay attention because uh, the information was in what I said also. Then um, we are going to go to the break rooms, work with, in, in teams, all right? And uh, try to find the correct answer to solve this problem, all right? So now, uh, let me create the breakout rooms as well to see if they are available. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Well, Daniel Membrenius is listener. Edwin and Saul, are you an active participant right now? Yes, Edwin, sure. Edwin, yes. Okay. Did, did Edwin say yes or no? I couldn't hear. Hello, Edwin, are you there? Hi. Okay, sorry, thank you. Henry, will you be able to participate actively? Yes, teacher. Thank you, all right. Mr. Flores, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you. Yes, Ursula you. says yes, and also Evelyn, what about you, Evelyn? Oh, it says listener. Okay, I understand. All right. So then, uh, Mr. Luna, it's a listener. Also, Mr. Pardo. Carlos Rivas, are you there, my friend, or are you a listener? Here's listener. Okay. So, Nuria, all right. Very good. Yes, teacher. Thank you. We're going to go here. This one. We're going to go number four. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Jill Mayhever, are you a listener or are, can you participate now? Ready. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. So, Noe? Yes, yeah, teacher. Ready. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, so let's see, let's see. One second. Guillermo, are you ready to participate? Hello, Guillermo. Yes, teacher, I can participate. Thank you very much. I have much. a little bit problems with my internet. Okay, no problem. As long as you can participate, that will be okay. Okay, so let's see. One second. Maritza, what about you? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel and Sonia? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Catherine? Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. So let me see here. One quick second. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Mm -hmm. and maybe for this one okay excellent so i just created the rooms please go ahead and accept your invitation
Maritza. Sí, teacher. Um, did you receive the invitation? No. Yeah, regresé, pero regresé aquí. Oh, my goodness. All right, vaya, Maritza. Este... Pero aquí me aparece. Ok. Supongo que subimos. Sala de nine. grupo reducido. Okay. So, Maritza, can you do it or? Okay, fine. She's gone. And those two, three guys right here are listeners. Okay, no problem. Okay, let me download the image in WhatsApp. Do you need the screenshot? I can send it to you. Okay. How do you identify employee training needs in an organization? I think the, the first one is letter A. Teacher, I, I have a question. Tell uh, me. This word uh, benchmarks, what is the meaning? Which word you mean? In, benchmarks. In the in option the, A, right? Letter A, yeah. Oh, I see. All right. So this is like, um, you know, it's like, um, it's just like a reference, you know, reference, like a, a point of reference, let's say. Como un porcentaje, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. si un empleado normal saca, por ejemplo, un 90 en sus evaluaciones. Ese es como una meta, lo estándar. Pero sí. Not, not really, because what you're saying, what you're telling me right now, it's a goal, right? A, a benchmark, it would be like, for example, una, una, un punto de referencia eh, de lo que yo quiero lograr, for example. En este caso estamos hablando a nivel de organizations, like companies, okay? So, for example, si yo tengo un restaurante pequeño, So, voy a buscar uno de los restaurantes grandes ya establecidos. Lo voy a tomar como un, una, un benchmark, un benchmark, sorry, eh, para ver con, like, qué cosas hacen que puedo hacer yo para mejorar my business. ¿Understand? Mm, ok. All right. Now, so, in, in this case, uh -huh. I think that is letter C. Because you have to offer a uh, standard training. Okay, but what does the first all the... In, in the first slide when it's like how do you identify employee training needs in an organization? Do you see the letter C in one of the six options I offer before?
in the first slide where it says, how do you identify employee training needs in an organization? I think a, a letter A. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that? Um, in the image. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if they uh, compare your, yourself to similar organization. Uh, I think it's letter D. Okay, you change your mind again. Right? Yeah, okay. because I, I was reading the slide. Mm -hmm. And they say compare to uh, perform an individual assessment, consider your industries, different dif different training. Because mm -hmm. they, they can explore overall performance. Mm -hmm. What will be that one? So it's letter A or letter D? Letter D for me. All right. Letter A. Okay. So you think letter A and letter D. That's the that's the uh dilemma right now. All right. So but what it says like focus solidly. What is solidly, my friend? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Guillermo, I have a question for you. No, it's a student. No, it's It's like only. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay. So, Guillermo, I have a question for you. Uh, what's the difference in the idea, of course, between letter A and letter D? Mm, letter A is... Just individual mm -hmm. performance. Mm -hmm. And letter D is like a mark, I think. Like, for example, to have 90% in the evaluations. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So let me just give you a hand with this one. Like then letter D, it would be just like, like something if you said, like centrarse únicamente eh, en el objetivo general de la empresa. That's what it says. All right, so and in this slide, does it mention that? Because letter D says, concentrarse únicamente en el objetivo general de la empresa. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. So. So it's letter D. Letter A, sorry. Letter A. Yeah, because it says here, compare yourself to similar organizations. So, usamos otra palabra, en lugar de decir organization, utilizamos benchmark. Ah, uh, pues sí estaba bien desde el inicio. Yes, my friend. I don't know why you got confused. Uh. <laughs> All right, excellent. I will go to a different room. If you have questions, please let me know. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So what happens here? Okay. En la número. Y la tres. Va el límite de Anil. La tres. Como eliminando las necesidades. Uh, eliminando las necesidades de recursos externos. 
algo, algo así, creo, no creo. Y la cuatro, la, la, perdón, literal de My Focus on on the Evening Employees Meeting. Focus. Yes, teacher. Yes, tell me. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa esa palabra? Focusing. Uh -huh. in, in what question? En la cuatro. Uh -huh. En el literal de by focusing. Solely, it's like solamente. Ah, pero, pero, pero focusing. Enfocándose. No, enfocándose solamente en las necesidades individuales de los empleados. Ah, pues no, no es eso. That's correct. Uh -huh. I mean, the translation is correct. Para mí es la B, by aligning training program with the organization objective. Ok. Uh -huh. Y la las cinco de number five. Number five. <laughs> number five. What are some ways in which employees? <laughs> ¿Cuáles son algunas? ¿Cuáles son algunas formas en que los empleados pueden beneficiarse de... Ah. de recibir capacitación? ¿Cuáles son algunas formas que los empleados pueden beneficiarse de recibir capacitación y oportunidades de desarrollo? Employee job performance en productivity. Did or see uh, number five. Porque habla de mayor crecimiento y oportunidades de avance, algo así. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? What is the pronunciation? Letter A, B, C, or D? No, letter C. Enhanced. Enhanced. Uh -huh. Enhanced. Enhanced. Body grow and avance opportunity. Okay. Questions? More questions? Yeah, I see question. Question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is the question? Uh, uh, okay. And number one, mm -hmm. and, and the question, question, how do you identify employee training in a organization? Yeah. For use, it or C, pero... No sé cómo, pero tengo mis dudas. All right. It's actually, eh, 
let's compare this one. In the number one, ustedes tenían ahí en la primera slide seis eh, puntos para identificar eh, las necesidades de entrenamiento en una organización. De esos seis puntos, mm -hmm. do you see any of them as an option there? Mm -hmm. right. ¿Hay alguno que sea de esos seis puntos ahí? Se me dice que letter C, which is offer a standard training programs for all roles. Mm -hmm. So, ¿hay alguno? Y tenemos different training program for various roles. Mm -hmm. Es la que ustedes, like the, you have chosen, right? Yeah. Okay, so, pero está esa opción en la, en la, en las opciones that you, en las reasons that I gave you before. Uh, 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 uh. That's what I'm saying. Let me share my screen so you can see what I'm talking One about. Moment. You can see the screen here. No worries. Look. For number one. It says here, explore overall performance. Compare yourself to similar organizations for form individual assessments. Okay. Consider That's your right. industry, different training programs, train for standard job requirements. And then you have here this one, which is the test, all right? And, and it says this one, compare, mm -hmm. conduct, offer, or focus. Which one is it? Mm -hmm. Focus. Teacher. Yes. In my case, yes, literally see. Offer standard training programs. Yes. Okay. Why? Yeah. And number five, different training programs. Number five, you said? It's similar. One, number five, different training programs for various roles. Oh, I got it. Different training programs for various roles, all right? Yes, in the number one, there are two possible answers. You have letter C and you have letter A. Those two are the possible answers in that one, right? Because this is like two of the things that you see there, right? Let's see. That's correct. It's letter C. Yes. Any other question? No? No. Okay. No. So, okay, we are going to close the rooms right now. So please go back to the main session so we can complete the activity, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for participating. Okay, everybody, we are just waiting for um, everybody to join this one, all right?
Okay, okay, very good, very good. Excellent. All right, everybody, welcome back from the breakout room. So now I need five volunteers who can help me to answer the questions. Remember, you need to read the question and then tell me what the answer is. Question number one, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. Okay. Um, how do you, do you identify employee training needs in, a, in an organization? A lady, A, compare individual performance to industry benchmarks. Benchmarks. All right. Excellent. So, Nuria has this one right here. Nuria said that she is going to select one second here. This one, letter A. Do you have any other option, people? Letter C, teacher. Letter C. C. Who has letter C also? What? King was in the letter C. Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay, no problem, All right? So let me tell you that in this one, it was actually two options, letter C o letter A, all right? So, porque ambas las menciona en, a, en slide number one, right? So, compare individuals performance to industry benchmark. Benchmark, it means also punto de referencia. Y en a slide is a, um, organizations, right? So, but at the end, it's the same. And offers tra standard training programs. Era la clave en este right here. Así que si usted tiene letter A o letter C, you did a good job on that one. Thank you. Okay, questions? No questions? No? No, no. Okay, and very what, good. What is the teacher? Mm -hmm. What is the pronunciation? Yes. The bet, bet, bet mark. The oh benchmarks, benchmarks, correct. Okay, any other question? No questions. Okay, then I need another volunteer for the second question, please. Who's my volunteer for the second question? Yeah. Hello. Fueron los volunteers, no volunteers. Me teacher. Thank you, uh, Sonia. Right, Edwin. I just saw your your you um raise your hand. So it's gonna be for number three. Okay, uh, Sonia, go ahead. Okay, how will you manage the training and the development of the employees? Yes. Um, number uh, letter, letter A. Letter A. Can you read it? Mm -hmm. Sonia? Oh, uh, la Leo. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Identifies competencies required require for job roles. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, excellent. So everybody else agree or disagree with that one? It's a correct or not? It's correct. Yay, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you. All right. And we can compare that one when we come here to the first slide. All right. No, it says right here. Uh, it says identify competences, all right? The second slide. Very good, excellent, thank you. Uh, Edwin, you can go now for number three. Why it is important to identify training needs. Mm -hmm. Letter B. To enhance employee productivity, right? What is it, people? Is that correct? 
Yes, it's, it's correct. It's correct. It's so, correct. It's later. B. B. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. What about number four? Any volunteer for number four? Yep. What do you do for number four? How does a training means assessment contribute to the company's strategy goals? Okay. Letter B, by aligning training programs with the organization's objectives. All right. So that will be letter B. Is that right? Yes. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yes or no, people? Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So, and the last one, my friends. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. What are some ways in which employees can benefit um, benefit. Uh -huh. benefit from receiving proper training and development opportunities. All right. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. All right. Enhance career growth. All right. And advan advancement opportunities. Yes or no, people? Yeah. Yes, teacher. That's yes. correct. Excellent. So thank you, everybody, for paying attention to the explanation, right? So you see, with this type of exercise, what I was trying to do, it's just to add some difficulty, right? So by, um, you know, not giving you like the easy answer like that, but analyzing and trying to understand what I'm, what I'm explaining also, right? That's why I always tell you, pay attention, right? So, well, thank you, everybody, for participating. And now it's your turn for talking. Talking, talking, talking. And talking about what? About the next two questions that we have right here, all right? How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? All right, so you already have this one, which is this one. Question number one. Oops, I'm sorry. There you go, this one. Second time, let's see. Woo. All right. Okay. So number one, it says here, how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Right. So después de ver lo anterior, so now you have an idea how to answer this question. Right. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Uh, someone who is there here. Let's see. Mr. Or oh, let's see. Jill. Jill, how would you say this question into Spanish? How can I understand this? Mm -hmm. Okay, ¿cómo um, identificar las áreas de oportunidad que requiere el personal en capacitación? Ajá, ¿cómo se identifican las áreas de oportunidad que requiere eh, personal? Capacitación, ¿Cómo se llama? Training de capacitación. What? Training de personal, sorry. All right, excellent. So, and then you go for the next one right here, which is this one. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Ahora hablaremos de tu lugar de trabajo, right? Which is this one? Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Hay este, um, eh, muchas oportunidades de training en sus trabajos o no es algo que pase muy seguido? For example. All right. What do you think? Depending on your, on your answers, of course, right? So let's say this one. Uh, do you have questions about the questions? Yes or no? No questions? Are they clear? They're yes. clear, teacher. Okay, excellent. So now it's time to go back to the breakout rooms and provide the answers, okay? There you go. Okay, what was that?
anybody else? Let's see here. How many listeners here? Mr. Flores. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello, teacher. Questions? Help? Are you there? Yes, my friend, tell me. Si no le escucho, aquí por ejemplo me quedo que lo había dado un hierro, pero me quedaba ahí trabado porque el inglés está bien malo. El internet está bien malo. Desde ayer que me sacó. Hasta ahorita no me puedo recuperar con la conexión. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear Ahí. about that. Ajá. Pero aquí estoy. Va, Lo que puedo siempre colaboro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, continue. If you need any help or if you have questions, I'm here, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know, or I'll be back. Okay. Hello, people. How are you doing? Did you finish? Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello. I will be here, you know, in the room for a moment if you need help or if you have questions. Just let me know, okay? Okay, teacher. All right.
Okay. Okay, we are going to stop right here. Get ready to join the main session in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you everybody for being here on time again. All right, so well, we are going to uh, listen to some volunteers with the answers, right? I need two volunteers for question number one and two volunteers for question number two. All right, so what about the question number one? Volunteers? Mm -hmm. Hello, volunteers. Thank you, Ursula, all right. Tell me, how do you identify uh, the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Well, first of all, I think we have to know what are the goals of the company. Mm -hmm. Then as each manager, if they have to identify any training in their employee. And finally, I ask each employee if they have any training needs in order to assign the correct training for each one. That's it. Okay, very good, excellent. So I like that you were actually putting into practice the um, information that we have shared tonight, all right? Thank you, uh, Ursula, that was a good job as usual. Congratulations. All right, so let's continue with the next one. Another volunteer for question number one? Uh -huh. DJ. That was Noe, right? Okay. Um, in number one, what do you identify the uh, areas of the opportunities that require personal training? Um, in my opinion, uh, make make a general st study study of the company deficient and discover the abilities of each employee. Okay, very good. Also, you applied the same uh, vocabulary as previously mentioned, all right? So good job with that one, and thank you for actually sharing that correct answer. Good job, my friend, thank you. All right, so, in, uh, well, now I need another volunteer but for the second question. Who's going to be my volunteer there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Number two, teacher. Number two, yes, Sonia. Okay. Uh, so, um, are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? In my workplace, we only receive one training a year, and it is money laundering prevention. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. Money laundering? Money. Uh, money laundering uh -huh. prevention money laundering prevention all right excellent thank you very much okay that's actually good so that's what you said right it was 
only one training about money laundering. That's very interesting, by the way. Okay, excellent. So now, uh, anything else? I, I'm sorry, anybody else? Hello? Hello, teacher. Hey, Edwin, I'm sorry. I didn't see your hand there. All right, so tell me. Go ahead. Oh, okay, I don't participate because I don't, I don't know Edwin. Oh, okay. No problem, Edwin. I have Jill <laughs> here, so she's going to help us. No problem. Thank okay. you. Continue. In my, in my company. Well, are you going to participate or, or not? It's not clear to me. Yes. Oh, I that's Eduardo. I'm sorry. Go ahead. In my company is a lot of training is, for example, the uses platform success factors. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, that the lavado dinero is a money laundering. laundering. Yes. Money laundering. Correct. Correct, correct. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. I truly appreciate it. That was a very interesting training, by the way. All right. All right, Jill, are you ready? Yes. Go uh, ahead. Are there a lot of training opportunity in your workplace? Uh, in my workplace, the opportunity are many things. We are in constant training. Oh, okay. Very good. That's interesting. All right. So super, super yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, ¿Cómo se dice lavado de dinero? Eso money laundering. Money laundering. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That sounds very interesting. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Now, everybody, thank you for participating. We are going to continue with the next question, which is practicing this conversation, right? Um, it's between the, the uh, uh, Alex and uh, Rick, all right? So I'm going to read it for you so you can get the idea of the pronunciation and intonation. And then you guys are going to go back to the breakout rooms to practice the conversation and also to answer those questions here, which are part of the conversation, okay? So let's start with the conversation right now. In the meantime, someone can take a screenshot and then send it to the group. It says here, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. So that's the conversation about, all right? So in, in the breakout rooms, you are going to create the conversation, practice, you know, the role play, and also answering the questions that you can see right now on the screen. All right, please uh, send the screenshot also for that one. Okay, there you go. Um, let's see, let's see. Questions, questions? Teacher. Yes. In the conversation, hay una, canology, ¿cómo dijo esa palabra? Canology. Well, let me see this one. All right. Mm, it's not moving. One second. There you go. Which one? Um, uh, el último párrafo de Alex. Mm. Skills and knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Okay. okay. What is knowledge, teacher? It is conocimiento. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. So, anything else? No? no? Okay. Let's go back to the breakout room so you can practice, okay? And thank you for the screenshots there.
Oh, Evelyn, Mr. Pardo, okay. Sweet. Hired. 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 Okay. Y esta de dishwasher. Dishwasher, correct. The dishwasher I hire a month ego wants to know how do they get promoted promoted Prom promoted correct pro moyer como como me dijo promoted promoted correct okay mm -hmm. promoted correct he has he has the about training Opportunity. Excuse me. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month, and one for cashers for four months. This month was no was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can in incline everything. I identify, no? identify, remember. Identify. Mm -hmm. Identify. Okay. Um, everything. Everything. ¿Cómo se lee esa palabra también? It would be everything. 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 Correct. Okay. They need in the training. Let's let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Okay. Okay. Cambiamos. Mm -hmm. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. A uh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashier performance this month was not to to pardon, was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can in include everything they need in the training. Let's do let's do that and don't forget. We have to evaluate the service after the training. Okay. Catherine? Catherine. Hola. 
y siempre yo <laughs> alright guys I will go to a different room don't forget the questions okay are important as well yes teacher alright the, the teacher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get removed I like it. I like it. Uh, he asked me about training opportunity. Alex. No, verdad. Yes, Alex. Alex. Él preguntó. No. The dishwasher. Oh. Mm. I The dishwasher. Okay. What about what did the customer complain about? Okay, so we are going to stop right here with this activity so we can go back to the main session. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. So now we are going to continue with this slide right here. And I need a volunteer, about well, a couple of volunteers who can perform the conversation. Who are my volunteers? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Ursula, Ursula, who are you working with? I'm working with Eduardo. Okay, you and Eduardo. Okay, go ahead. Um, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He mm -hmm. asked me about training opportunities. Eduardo? Hello, Eduardo. The second question. <laughs> no, no, we are we are uh reading the conversation, my friend. Ah, okay. So you are Rick. Ah, very good. Uh -huh. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. 
Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you very much, All right? So that was actually a very good job. Both of you, Ursula and Eduardo, you follow the correct pronunciation for those um, words that you were reading there, all right? So super nice, I liked it. Okay, thank you. So uh, one couple more so we can continue. Uh -huh. Hello, hello? Noé. Noé, uh, who are you working with, Noé? Uh, Jill. Okay, Noe and Jill, go ahead. Okay. The this washer I hired a month ago wants to know who to get from from promoter. He asked me about training opportunity. Jill? Okay, is uh, the question number two? <laughs> what you, the oh, oh, is the... Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yes, I think server nail a uh, good training. Let's identify their skill. Uh, and... <laughs> where are you? Oh, no, that's you're Rick. You're supposed to be Rick. Oh, let's do that. The first and... one. Ah, very good. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service needs a good training. Let's identify talent skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to ev evaluate the service after the training. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you, Jill, and thank you, uh, my friend, for actually performing that correctly, right? So I don't know why Jill and, and uh, Eduardo got confused, right? But thank you for actually fixing it. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay. Now let's go with the questions right here, all right? So number one, question number one, who can tell me who is asking for a promotion? Yes, tell me. Alex. Is Alex asking for a promotion, people? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh, the dishwasher. The dishwasher. The dishwasher. The dishwasher. Yay, thank you. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, number two, what did the customers complain about? Uh, some customers complain about having to wait oh, for too long. Yeah, they wait for too long. That's correct, all right? And what <laughs> staff we receive training? Servers. Servers. Thank you very much, right? And <laughs> what steps will Alex and Rick take after the... Excuse me, after... Um, what, sorry, what steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Identify, Identify. their skills and knowledge so right. we can include everything they need in the training. Exactly. And also? Exactly. Super important point right there. Thank you. You were doing a good job with this one. So now let's just go with the last activity for tonight's class. This is the last activity. And we're going to do it together. All right. So let's give the numbers from one to six. In your opinion, what is the first step we need to take to organize the training? Mm -hmm. Mm 
I can help you with one, with the last one. Yeah. Okay, that's it. What about the rest? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. No, of course, yes, number six. But what about the rest? <laughs> Identify oh. personal foreign skill and knowledge. Yay, that's correct one. So that's for the number one. Okay, good. And what about number two? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, analyze the job. Analyze the job. All right. So very good. So it's going to be this one right here. Analyze the job. Very good. Then number three. Number three, display skills and knowledge gap. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number four. Identify training solution. Yay. And finally here, number five is going to be this one. Okay. Are you sure everything is like that or would you like to make a change? Hmm? everything is correct everything is correct okay perfect all right my friends perhaps you can take an inspiration also for this one and send it to the group because we are going to use that later and also it can be part of a, a test all right ah now that we're talking about the test people remember we already finished in the unit number three so I please ask you to finish also the test and the homework for the unit number three, if it is possible for you, right? So if you have questions or if there's any error in the test, like in the last one, let me know, all right? And remember, uh, you can always report it and I will be more than happy to help you with that, but let me know whenever you have a problem with the test. Remember, we already finished number unit number three. We are studying number four and after number four, um, we will uh, have the final test and then we are over. So don't forget to complete your homework and to complete the test, all right? Questions, everybody? Questions, questions? No questions. No questions, all right. So I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. All right, be punctual. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.